In order to calculate the returns on a stock in Excel, we're first going to have to get the data. Now I'm using Yahoo Finance in this example and Delta Airlines. How I got this is I just went to yahoofinance.com and typed Delta Airlines and you'll see DAL pops up so I can click on that. Now I'm gonna to go to this historical data tab. Let's say I'm interested in uh, daily price data for the range of uh, let's say about the last uh, five years or so. So I'll just go down to uh, 2018, January 16th, and hit done, apply. So this range should pop up as the one I selected, and then I'll hit download. And I'll open that file, should pop up in Excel. So here we are. Um, you can see we have a number of columns. The ones we're most interested in is date and the adjusted close because the adjusted close takes into account uh, dividends. So first we're gonna have to calculate the return for each day. So I'm gonna make a new column called return. And this is just simply going to be the return of the, that, or sorry, the adjusted close price at the end of this day divided by the adjusted close price of the stock from the previous day minus one. So this gives us a per percentage return for that day. I'm just gonna double click, put my arrow or my uh, mouse in the bottom right of the cell and double click. So now we have a return for every single day. Then we're gonna wanna calculate the average return standard deviation and the variance of all of those daily returns. So to get the average return, we're simply gonna do equals average, oh, whoops, average, and then we're gonna select the whole range. I click the first cell, hold control shift on my keyboard, and then the down arrow, and then enter. So we can see that the average daily return for that period of time is 0.015%. Then to calculate standard deviation, we just type standard dev P, so we're gonna use the the P stands for population, and since we have a large data set, we can assume this is sufficient to use that formula. And that gives us the uh, standard deviation, the average standard, or sorry, the standard deviation for the daily returns. And then we'll do equals var dot P, again, population. And hit control shift down after selecting the top cell, enter. And you can see that we have really easily calculated all three of these values. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you.